Welcome back to the tutorial on creating an invoice in Microsoft Access. Uh, in part one, we created our first table for our invoice that represents the top half of our invoice. That gives us the invoice number, the date of sale, the employee name, and the customer ID. Um, in the second part, we're going to create an invoice details table. That'll give us all the information on the, uh, the name of the product and the quantity. So I'm going to close this table for now. And we're going to create a brand new table. Select table and design view. And we're going to name this table invoice details table. I'm going to call mine two because I already have one created and select OK. And our first field, we're simply going to name it invoice details ID. And we'll let it select an auto number. Next, what we need to do is we need to connect this or build a relationship between the details on the bottom part of our invoice to the top part that we just created. So to do that, we're going to use the invoice ID and we will use the lookup function for our data type. Select next. And we're going to want to use our invoice table on table two. And the only thing we want to select is the invoice ID. We just need the invoice number um, for this particular application only. Select Next. We can leave this field blank because it's automatically going to sort by the invoice ID. Select Next. And we'll enable data integrity and finish. This will save it. And as always, back to our database tools options and we'll take a look at relationships. And we can now see that our invoice tables two, we've created a link or a relationship rather from the invoice ID to our invoice table. So we have our primary key here and it's connected to our foreign key over here. Great, so we'll save and close. And the next item we're going to want on our invoice uh, details table is the actual name of the product that customers buy. So we'll start with product name. And again, we're going to use the lookup function in our data type column. And here we're going to use the table that contains all the information about the products that we're selling. And that would be our items master table, if you recall. That includes the product ID, the product name, the wholesale price, and the retail price. Select next. And all we want from the available fields here is just the name of the product. So we'll move that over because this is now what's going to appear in our invoice details table. Select next. And we want to ascend by product name. Select next. And now you can see here in the lookup wizard preview, it's going to show us from the drop down menu in our invoice a list of products that we can choose from that the customer is purchasing. We select next. Enable that integrity. Finish. Yes, we have the relationship. And again, we'll take a look and make sure everything turned out exactly the way that we wanted. And here's my invoice details table two, our product name. We can see that we have successfully created a relationship between this table and our items master table. Okay, so we will save that and close it. And then the last item that we want to have on our invoice details table is a quantity, okay? How many is the customer buying? And that's just gonna be, our data type for this is gonna be number, okay? We're just gonna select a number. So those are the only four items that we need in the bottom portion uh, of the invoice that we're creating. So we're gonna save this now. And then in the next video, uh, we're going to actually build an invoice form that the user will use to create an invoice when a customer comes in. And we will select all the items that we've now created on our invoice table and our invoice details table. So we will see you in the next video.